Let us look at what they call the change of base rule in logarithms. Let's develop such a rule first of all. Suppose you have the log of, let's say the base of that log is x and the number you're logging is y. All right? You want to find out what it is. Let's say it's equal to what now? A. Let's say it's equal to A. Alright. Now, rewrite this in index form and see what happens. Remember your index form. Log of 1000 equal 3. The base is 10. 10 to the 3 is equal to 1000. When you're writing from log to index form or from index to log form, one useful thing to do is to just remember and note that the log of 1000 is 3 when your base is 10. Now at the same time, 10 to the 3 is 1000. So the log of 1000 equal 3 is in log form, 10 to the 3 equal 1000 is in index form, and you follow that pattern. So, the base of the log is x. The base of the index should be x also. x to the power of, in log, the answer is 3. In index form, it's number you're raising to the power. In log form, the answer is 3. In index form, it's the number you're raising to the power. So, it's x to the a equals, in log form, the number you're logging is a thousand in index form. It is the answer. In log form, the number you're logging is y. In index form, it is the answer equals y. Alright, so I just change this to index form. Let's look at this. You're saying a to the x equals y. Suppose you log both sides. You find the logarithm of both sides of this expression. The log of x to the power of a is equal to the log of y. See that? Now, what the rule of logarithm says when you have log of a number raised to a power, remember it, here you're going to say a log x is the power times the log of the number log of a log of x to the a is equal to a log x and this is equal to the log of y all right you want a so let's divide both sides by log x when you do that you're going to get a is equal to the logarithm of y Divided by the logarithm of x. Mm -hmm. So, a is log y over log x. So, let's change a to that. This is the log of y divided by the log of x. Now, here, this is what they call the change of base rule. Let me erase some of these things from in front of it. So the change of base rule. All right. The log of a number with a certain base equals, you change the base to some other log. In fact, let me write the base of this log. It, it could be, for example, base 10. Log of the base 10 of y over log base 10 of x. The log of y, where the base is x, is equal to log of a new base of y over log of that new base of x. Let's try one or two things and see if it really works. Let's see if it will work on a few numbers. Let's see now. The log of 
All right, so four, and the answer is 16. Now, this is supposed to be log of 16 over log of 4, where the base is 10. Now here, let's look at this on the right hand side. First, log of 16 over log of 4 is what? Let's see what's going on here. Oh no. My calculator is gone. Let's get it back. All right. So here now. Log 16 over log 4. Log 16 over log 4 equals 2. So our answer here. Oh no. Yeah, our answer here is 2. Is that really true? Let's see. Log base 4. Where are you getting from? Log base 4 of 16 is equal to 2. In index form, you would say two, 4 to the 2 equal 16. Yeah, it is right. So, 4 squared is equal to 16. Alright? Now, if you, for example, suppose in an exam, you get log of, well, log of the base of 5. And uh, this is log of 17 with a base of 5. To work out. Now, your calculator does not have a base 5. So you're going to use the change of base rule. Now you can directly come up with the change of base rule if you remember it or you have <coughs> some formula sheet with it. Alright? Now even if you don't remember it, you can kind of derive it. You can say this is equal to x. x is what you're working towards, right? And you say in index form, this is 5 to the x is equal to 17. And you log both sides, the log of 5 to the x is equal to log of 17. Rule of logs, here it is saying x log 5 is equal to log 17. So x is equal to log 17 over log 5. So what you have is log 17 over log 5 you got that so that's really the change of base rule right now here so the log of a number at a certain base is the log of the number over the log of the base where you change and find a new base of logs so log 17 over log 5 what is that let's use our calculator and see what we get oh no Thing I, wrong thing I pressed a while ago. Let's try again. Alright. So log 17 over log 5. Log 17 over log 5 equals 1.760 or 1.76. So this is equal to 1.7 to two decimal places at 1.76 all right so that's an example using the change of base rule so remember the change of base rule says you have a log of a number with a certain base that your calculator doesn't know just find the log of the number over the log of the base using a log with base that your calculator knows all right and that's what I did here. My calculator is not programmed with log with a base of 5. So I changed the base and found log 17. So log 17 with a base of 5 is log 17 over log 5 where the new base is 10. 
right and I could just write in my new base of logs here base 10 logs and what we have is our answer 1.76 all right so I'll see you in the next video.